Hello friends, today I am show you, showing you how to how to convert a txt file to a shape file. In your txt file, you can put some lat long value in this file, and you can convert it a point shape file very easily. It is a very useful if you use a dynamic dynamic use data set in a txt file to convert a shape file you can do this work in a python use of use of python uh, programming language so first of all i i first of all you have to need to prepare a data set uh, for, for for as a txt file so i am i'm preparing this uh, file here this is called uh, points here this first value is represent the longitude and uh, the second value is represent the latitude so you can take these points from, from the google maps like if you i i just prepared it earlier in here this is the point and this you can take this value from here this is latitude this value is latitude and this value is longitude and so you take this value from randomly value and provide this txt file and prepare your txt file finally I, in here i just put uh, four value for different uh, value for different point value as a latitude and longitude so now i uh, show you the uh, code of this this uh, shape file to shape file to txt file to shape file conversion so here is the code so first of all you have to import the uh, osgeo uh, package then you you need to a, a prepare a, a function or method in uh, python so in here this is the code of this is the code of create shape file uh, for preparing a preparing a txt file to prepare a shape file and then you uh, then uh, uh, so in here you first of all uh, declare it a uh, you use the st shape file uh, file uh, file system then in here two parameters are included first of all input file path and second of all output shape file uh, path so this is output shape file and in here uh, you create a data source you declare the data source and then you assign the special reference like uh, in in here we we take these values from uh, Bangladesh, uh, Bangladesh countries for different points. So uh, we, we, I take this position uh, WGS 1984, which is EPSG 4326 code. And then you uh, go to the name of uh, this uh, layer, like points, and you declare the geom type and then you you fill definition declare that that is a first of value is x and you uh, the select the position uh, field you can manipulate this uh, data as you as your needs then you go to a uh, next uh, of next uh, uh, value y and then same thing is going in here also then you read the uh, txt file path in here your, your value is going there and it is r and r means it is read this file and and this is uh, the speed your data at x and y as x and y and each line and this this for loop is going iterating your data over the code then you uh, then you go to here this is the this is the file path of your points txt actually in here i just include my 
a point txt file which is uh, this this file and i i again uh, declared the output shape file uh, path where i need to save it so i also declare it here and then i call this method it, i described it earlier there is this method I, I discussed earlier and call it here and when this all things are done then you you can give a message like shape file created successfully so i i run this code in my uh, qjs uh, software software in python console so i go there and here is my code and in this folder there is no any shape file are uh, are not situated there so i run this code and my uh, my point shape file will will prepare so here is my uh, code is already uh, finished here is the successful message and you can go go to go, uh, uh, folder your folder desired folder in here the uh, shape file is uh, created already so you oh, you can add this file from there and you you can visit uh, your shape file will visible visible there so you add this and add this file and close it and you can see there is a, your desired file and it uh, desired four 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 point value are, are already prepared so so you can you can see there is a one point i i, I just verify you this is a river and it is a not portion of this point and you can go to your google map and this is also the north portion of your desired point so the data is prepared very well very well prepared so thank you thank you for watching my videos i i insert i giving you this code in the description link so uh, you can uh, you can practice easily practicing easily this task thank you and if you find any help from this video you can share or subscribe my channel thank you